Okay, we're going to go over unit rate. And here are some example word problems. Okay, we're going to start with the first one. The sign says apples $1.23 for three. What is the cost of one apple? Well, you're going to start by setting up a proportion. And a proportion is just two fractions equal to each other. So for $1.23, so that's my money on top. I have three apples. And unit ray, you're trying to find the cost of one. So we're gonna put a one in the denominator because that represents apples on the bottom and the cost on the top. So we don't know the cost of one apple. So we're gonna put our variable or x up here and then we're just gonna do a cross product. Then we just cross multiply. Three times x is just three x and one 23 times one is just $1.23 or 123. So we end up having to divide both sides by three. So three goes into 123, 41 times, but with the decimal, it's gonna be 0 0.41. So the cost is 41 cents. So that's how you do the first one. So one apple would cost you 41 cents. Okay, so let's look at another one. Okay, Savannah listened to six songs in 24 minutes on her iPod. Approximately how long was each song? Okay, so let's set up our ratio. We know we have six songs and it's taken us 24 minutes to listen to those six songs. And we're trying to figure out how long it's gonna take for each song, so that's for one song, so my one's gonna be on the top this time, and an X is gonna be on the bottom because it's asking me how long, so that's the time I'm looking for. Now let's do a cross product. Six times X is six X, 24 times one is 24, so X is four. Now let's look at the unit measure, okay? Our variable's on the bottom, so our unit on the bottom is minutes, so that's gonna be four minutes. And that's how you solve that unit rate problem.